Hi, Cancer, and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for the week of December 30th through January 5th. We are at the end of the year, Cancer, last week of the year, and last week of the decade. So happy new year to you. I am wishing you all a magical 2020. May it be much more blessed than 2019 has been. All right, Cancer, I'm going to just leave these readings open to spirit for this last week of the year and see what your spiritual team really wants to talk talk to you about and bring your focus to as we wrap up this year and this decade. Okay, so you guys have winter, the delicate feeling of night. So Taurus also received this card, Cancer. So if you have a Taurus moon or rising, this message may be significantly stronger for you. But with this winter card coming out, Cancer, this last week of the year, you're naturally going into hermit mode. You're just kind of going within yourself, having a quiet reassessment and evaluation of yourself, of your journey, of your relationships, of just everything you've been through up to this point. And again, I want to emphasize this is a natural process that's coming forth from your spirit, from your soul. So it's um, there could be a lot going on. You could be celebrating all these things, but you're really within yourself, Cancer. You're in, within your head, within your heart, speaking to your own spirit and going through this evaluation, this review and assessment of, you know, different areas of your life. This is a general reading, so obviously, a specific area is going to be different for each of you but that is the primary thing going on cancer and it's just this natural review that springs forth from your soul so let's pull some tarot and dig deeper are so thick but I love it I love the quality it's just harder to shuffle them okay three of cups yeah see there's the celebration I, I felt that like there is excitement there is happiness there is celebration this week but despite all of that like you're still very much inside yourself Heart of Wands. Yeah, there you are, Cancer. That would normally be the Queen of Wands, but that's you. That's your spirit speaking to you. Uh, temperance. Ooh. Next out is the Two of Pentacles. Look at there's a balancing taking place for you, Cancer. And then the Spirit of Wands. Wow. This is a powerful week, a spiritual week for you guys. Whether you're religious, spiritual or not, it doesn't matter. Like your soul is speaking to you, Cancer. Um, I do see happiness and celebration this week, okay? Um, and maybe, you know, some of you through this quiet review within, there is a lot of happiness that comes forth from remembering, from thinking about everything and just the way all the dots connect, etc. Um, this feels more of just like a celebration, like um, participating in some sort of New Year's Eve party, whether you're around a lot of people or it's just you and somebody else. You know, there is some celebration and some happiness going on this week. Um, um, but also here we have the Heart of Wands and the Spirit of Wands, which would be the King and Queen of Wands in a standard tarot deck. So, Cancer, many of you, you're looking for a balance in a relationship with somebody, a partner, a family member, or a friend, um, or this could even be like a, a work life balance that you're seeking it feels more related to a, um, a person though where you're really seeking an understanding a balance between the two of you and you know both coming through as you know a king and a queen you are equally matched you're you know on equal ground however there's some sort of disharmony between the two of you and you're at this point of can I can we find that middle ground or is this just always going to be all of this turmoil and energy and effort that we have to put forth into this relationship because we clash so much, we butt heads so much. So Cancer, this internal journey, you're really seeking balance in a specific relationship or multiple relationships in your life. This could also be, um, you know, in situations where you're giving more than you're receiving back. 
and so you're really desiring that equality you need that equality your soul is speaking to you cancer so any relationship in your life that there is a huge imbalance you're going to become aware of it and in that space i see you looking for solutions more than let me push you away let's separate let's end our friendship our family ship whatever it is for you it's like you're really seeking solutions to bring forth harmony and peace within your relationship as well as within yourself. So let's pull some more cards, Cancer. Oops. The devil could involve an earth sign because that's Capricorn energy right there. Next is the movement of wands. So this would actually be the Knight of Wands in a standard tarot deck. So you got almost the whole family of wands coming out. Under Temperance, we have the Chariot. There's your energy, Cancer, the card that represents you in the tarot. The Naked Heart. Yeah, see, I knew you were looking for solutions. You're not looking to end things. You're looking for solutions right there with the Naked Heart. And then, lastly, under the Spirit of Wands, we have the Spirit of Pentacles. So there's more Earth energy right there. Could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn um, that you are involved with. We also have a lot of fire energy. So Aries, Leo, Sag, this being a Sag, um, you know, temperance. But Cancer, what I see here for you guys, again, is you know, just the situations in your life that are out of balance, the relationships, the connections, you're seeking a uh, solution, you're seeking communication, you're seeking healing, you're seeking mending. It's almost as though it's like you've been battling, you're taking your gloves off, raising your white flag, not out of like, I just give up. It's more like your heart space, your spirit saying this isn't worth it. No fight is worth all of this. I just, wow, Cancer, I just see you laying down your gloves and saying, meet me halfway. You know, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to battle you. It doesn't matter who's right. It doesn't matter who's wrong. This is just such a waste of our energy. I love you. You love me. We're connected. We're family. Because Cancer, you literally have um, one, two, three, four different uh, core cards. So that could be four different people. Here you are with the chariot and then potentially a Sag or a Capricorn. So there's a lot of people going on in this reading with you. And that's why I'm saying, Cancer, you're really evaluating all of your relationships and seeking solutions. And, you know, it could also be there's a lot of people around you who are going through just a bunch of turmoil and heartache. And you are the one giving the advice and it's coming up from the depth of your soul, okay? But um, there are a lot of people coming into your reading this week, Cancer. There's celebration, there's communication, there's coming together. It looks like you're having a lot of fun, to be honest, all right? Um, but within, like the, the, the truth of you is coming through this week. You are so authentic. You can't even stop it if you tried. Like vulnerable, exposed, real, raw, and I don't want to fight. Like I'm a lover this week. I'm not a fighter this week. And if you can't flow on that vibe with me, you need to go into timeout until you can. See, timeout right there with the hourglass. You need to go into timeout until you can because Cancer, you are just a ball of love. You may be a little bit sensitive and emotional, really picking up on the energy and emotions of others this week just because of the space that you're in. Um, but just flow with it. Answers you seek, clarity you seek, coming, healing coming in. And you are in just this really beautiful vibration. And again, celebration and coming together for you guys. Okay, let's uh, pull some advice okay we had two jump out and i'm pulling two so how perfect is that soften and open back into love all day long i just think that's naturally happening cancer if you find yourself trying to fight it 
don't just let it happen let the vulnerability the authenticity all of it flow from you your spirit guides are like yep that's exactly what needs to happen trust in divine order you are being helped yeah see that's why you're just so connected into everyone and everything as well as the seed of your soul because your team is coming in it's time to heal it's time to purge it's time to just be in a really nice vibe this last week of this year cancer so those are your messages i'm wishing you all the best take care